I, I pale in comparison to him. I will do my very, very best here. So Travis is a bastard. <laughs> um, not meaning that, I, I, it's a pejorative, but I mean, what I mean is that his parents were obviously together when they conceived him. This <laughs> is a human. Um, and there's, there's no better practical joker in the entire world. So I'm getting married. Uh, this is four years ago, not now, not like, congratulations, Troy. Um, <laughs> Travis is obviously going to be my, my best man. So he rises to those occasions. And he was planning my bachelor party. And he was like, what weekend works great for you? And I was like, it's going to be this weekend. He was like, got it in the calendars. And then every once in a while, we were, like, we were doing Infamous Second Son. And he would go, how, how are you with heights, man? <laughs> <laughs> Depends. Well, I don't, I don't want to give it up. But like, I know roller coasters aren't your thing, but what if it was a jet? Would you be, <laughs> what are you talking? So all of these red herrings everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> then I get a call from my agent. Hey, we got a session booked for you for this Friday. Um, they're paying really, really well. It's going to be kind of an interesting setup. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So I go into this session and it is straight up Russian mafia. <laughs> Straight up Russian Mafia. Every time the guy that we were working with that was the director, he was like, guys, I apologize. They're a little bit shady, but they're paying us all really, really well. They want to record it in a different way. They like the cinematic feel. So we're not going to be like, a uh, microphone's not going to be here. They're just going to be like cameras on us for reference, and they're going to have microphones in the room, and they just want you guys to move around in the space. I'm like... And of course, again, the ego picks up. I'm like, okay, guys, I'm sorry. I have a, I have a problem with this because I'm really get into this. And every time the director would go, guys, what do you think about that? You direct or you direct. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. So we're going through, and all of a sudden, we're in the middle of this thing, and the Keith, the director, goes, guys, is there a problem? And this, I thought a bat had flown like had flown into the control room, and then there's this loud bang, flash bang, and all of a sudden, the door to the studio comes busting open, and like eight ATF guys come pouring into the room, guns drawn, get out of the crowd, get out of the crowd, get out of the crowd! And I, you learn something about yourself in those situations. <laughs> Number one, what is my threshold of pooping myself? <laughs> and also, you want to be the guy that moves like a cheetah. You're fast. Not does this. <laughs> and literally, Brian Bloom was on my left. He takes my wrist and brings me down to the deck. I was like, okay. <laughs> and we go down, and I mean, everyone's like, get out of the ground. And they start bagging and tagging us, like rip or zip cord. What are they called? Zip ties. <laughs> Zip ties around my hand, everything. And they're looking at us like, look left, look left. And I'm like, okay, this is where we're going to get the reveal. And I look left, and everybody to my left, including Travis, is terrified. <laughs> That's not what you want to see in that situation. <laughs> so I'm, and it, there's a there's video of me, and I'm just like, I have this weird like, boop, look in my eyes, and a, kind of a smile on my face. And Travis thought he was blown. And what I'm thinking to myself is, is going, well, you're going to die today. <laughs> and everything in your body is telling you this isn't real. 99% of your mind is going, there's no way this is real. But there's that 1% that says, if this is where, it, if, if this is my reality right now, I'm in a bad way, bro. <laughs> so they pick us up, and I don't know if you've ever been arrested. But cops have this wonderful demeanor where they're incredibly polite to you in the scariest way. <laughs> All right, sir, go ahead and turn to your left. We're going to be walking outside. I was like, you're the worst tour guide ever. <laughs> <laughs> like, sir, you don't mean that. You just have to say, so boom, throw me in the back. I am now, like, bagged, handcuffed, and they're throwing me into the back of a police van. And they're like, we got him. Oh, boom. Doors close, I'm by myself, and there's a guy that has a hand on my shoulder, and it's just like pressing into me. And I'm like, this is getting increasingly more terrifying. So then, we take off, and we leave. 
and it's like we're bum 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 bum, and I'm trying in my mind. I can't see, hear anything. I can barely breathe. I'm incredibly uncomfortable, which is making it feel more real. Because but your buddy, it's like, hey, dude, make sure he's on the chair or something. No, 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 <laughs> no accoutrements whatsoever. This is uncomfortable. So I'm like. Running through, I was like, oh my god, okay, where are we at right now? Okay, we have to be going down the 101. Oh my gosh, we've been in the car for like 30 minutes at least. We're probably heading up like the 210. Oh my god, they're taking us up Lake Pyro. They're going to shoot us. Oh my god, what is happening right now? <laughs> and then we come back, and then I hear the police scanner that's happening. Oh like, uh, yeah, we got it. <laughs> all of this stuff. And all of a sudden, the door opens. They bring us, like, swing around, and I'm like hanging out the side like this. And the cop looks at me, he's like, what's your name? I say nothing. <laughs> because I'm being a badass. I am terrified. I'm like, they have suspended habeas corpus right now. These guys are not messing around. And again, probably not real, but man, if it is. <laughs> and so I'm sitting there, I was like, what's your name? All right, take off, the, you know, take off his headphones, because I had like these headphones where I couldn't hear anything. He's like, what's your name? The guy goes, you know what, man? That whole thing we see on the TV where they don't respond, that's not going to work well for you here. What's your name? And I go, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can I get one more of those? I think I can be more of a badass. And it's like, Troy, what's your, what's your last name? Baker. There it is. <laughs> it's like, do you have any reason why I'm being detained today? No. Um, and he goes, all right, you know what? This isn't going to work. Take the hood off. And he takes the hood off, and I'm like, white out blinded and there's Travis in my face and he was like welcome to your bachelor party <laughs> <laughs> now come to find out and there is video that exists online somewhere he had spent six weeks of planning he had actually gotten official ATF badges which if you lose or destroy them will get you prison time <laughs> or like a ridiculous fine he had done a full dress rehearsal with, with both cops and stunt players. Um, it was the most elaborate thing. And we have people, obviously, we're, we live in LA, we have people that are in the industry, they're like, bro, I know people with serious money and they couldn't have pulled this off. Like, Travis called it every favor he's ever had. And it was, I'm so glad that he got married before me because I'm like, I can't talk. We're going to Vegas for your bachelor party. I just, there's no way. It will never, ever, ever be topped. It was the greatest prank and it was the greatest bachelor party in history. <laughs>